skill, the actual points of the skill and we're teaching it, right? So it's, we call it the skill drill, right? And we're going to follow that with a game based solely on the punt kick. So that'll all be one station. Four and five are actually all one station, right? Okay? But concentrate, we're just going to do a bit of free kick in first. So what we're going to say is, I'm going to give you the, the basic teaching points for the punt kick. All right, we already know them, right? But as we know them with our boys, I'd say about 60% of our boys can kick the ball out of their hand now. Would I be accurate? Fair right, yeah. Yeah? Right, yeah. yeah. Okay, well then we're, we're, we're good. We're on, we're on kind of on safe schedule, right? Okay, the teaching points for it are this. Number one, the very weak ones, we can start them in a crouch like this, knees bent, let them drop the ball, bounce, fire the leg up. Okay, that's the very weak one. If somebody can't get it, that's your, your fallback. That's your 1.1, your, your one one, okay? Yeah. Can I have that back, please? All right. Most of them will be able to kick the ball like that. And it won't go where they want it to go because this leg is not moving, okay? That's where we're at where most of us are at. My fellow will be kicking the ball nearly every day between me and his brothers and he'll still kick every third one. He'll stand still and if that leg stays still, this leg wants to swing so the ball will go that way. So our next step is to encourage him. How many steps did we say we're allowed to have? Four. 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 So we're going to say hold the ball in front of our belly. Teaching point one. Alright, we know it's not in front of our belly and so today, but no one will say that. Right? We go walk, walk, walk. That's four steps, that's three steps. Let the ball fall on the fourth and kick, right? So we'll walk, 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 let it fall and kick. What happens is that the ball will fall into their stride and they'll kick with either foot. They won't choose a foot, okay? It'll be watch as it falls. Now, you played, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, because you let it into one hand. We're encouraging the boys to keep it in two hands and we'll tell them about Paul playing with the two hands because Paul's kicking his cat, right? And he had to work very hard at it. And then we'll tell them about Bernard for Robin who kicks it, drops it with one hand because his kicking is lovely natural style. Right? Paul had to work very hard, Bernard didn't. But after a while, we'll just let them off, walk, 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 let it fall and kick. And what happens is it'll fall into whatever foot happens to be around at the time and they'll kick it with that foot. Okay? So what I want you to do is get into twos and try that. 